we need to go all the way back to 2013 for his marathon debut in Hamburg. And he did it flawlessly right away. First marathon, first victory, beating the field by over 2 minutes and setting a new course record. Later 2013, he went on to his first Berlin marathon and you won't hear this a lot, but he came second. Behind Wilson Kipsen, who set a new world record in the same race. Kipchoge earned the fifth fastest time in history with a time of 2 hours, 4 minutes and 5 seconds. In 2014, Elite Kipchoge was already very well known for the marathon and went on to win both Rotterdam and Chicago. Throughout 2015, he extended his winning streak with another victory in London. Kipchoge, 1981, Dick Bardsley and Inga Simonson cross the line together holding hands, but I don't think we're going to see that this time. Kipchoge puts his foot down, opens up a gap for the first time. Clear daylight, we haven't seen that at all in this year's race. Five metres and the gap, if it grows much bigger than that, will be a winning gap. Berlin, where he ran at personal best even though his shoes malfunctioned, causing his insoles to flap out of board shoes from 10 km onward. Rather than risking time lost from an adjustment, he finished the race with bloodied, blistered feet. 2016 was the year where he ran his first Olympic marathon, but first he won the London Marathon for the second consecutive year in a crazy time of 2 hours 3 minutes and 5 seconds which was the second fastest time in history by then, missing the world record by only 8 seconds. Yeah. He knows how close he is to it, but I fear he's just going to miss it. 2.02.57 has barked, it's going to be the second fastest marathon we've ever seen. 2.03.05. Course record by well over a minute. For the Olympic Games in Rio, he truly was the favourite, with a winning streak of 5 consecutive marathons and the fastest marathon in the field. Although he never ran a marathon against such a competitive field, it didn't really bother him. Look at the acceleration as well from Elliot Kipchoge. Probably not a good idea to make him angry because that's what he was a moment ago. But look at how fresh his legs appear. He went on to win his first Olympic gold medal and became the second ever male Kenyan to win an Olympic gold medal. There's nothing standing between Elliot Kipchoge and the moment he's dreamed of for so many years. Elliot Kipchoge is the Olympic marathon champion. If you thought it would get boring, it doesn't, because Kipchoge has big plans, together with Nike. Breaking the two hour marathon barrier is impossible. In 2017, on the 6th of May, Kipchoge, along with Cersei Tedese and Lilisa de Sisa, attempted the first sub 2 hour unofficial marathon in the Nike Breaking Truth project. The runners planned an even 14 minutes and 13 seconds for each 5k split to break the 2 hours. And this were his 5k splits. Kipchoge sadly came up short and finished in 2 hours and 25 seconds. But I, I, I am a happy man to run a marathon in 2 hours. So I think that the world now is just 25 seconds away. Later in September, he came back to Berlin to win the marathon for the second time. Elliot Kipchoge is the winner of the 44th Berlin Marathon. A sensational piece. In 2018, he won yet again in the London Marathon against Mo Farah and Kenenisa Bekele. Kenenisa Bekele, Mo Farah behind him, but it's Elliot Kipchoge who is the champion in 2018. Now Kipchoge slowly became the greatest over the marathon distance. But there was only one thing left, he needed to prove the world he really was worth it to be called the greatest of all time. He needed the world record. On the 16th of September 2018, 
He broke the world record by an unbelievable 1 minute and 18 seconds, lowering it down to 2 hours, 1 minute and 39 seconds, finishing almost 5 minutes in front of the second place. Two thousand nineteen was certainly by no means less spectacular. Another casual win in London Marathon for the fourth time with the second fastest marathon in history. He will be the champion for the fourth time. Nobody has done that before. He's run quicker than anyone else before, including himself here in London. Kipchoge is the champion again. The second fastest time ever run. And then the unforgettable Ineos 159 challenge. Another unofficial attempt at the sub 2 hour marathon. The world was only 25 seconds away and Kipchoge didn't disappoint us. Covid came up and in 2020 not many races were run next to the London Marathon alternative of 19 laps on a course in London in windy and rainy conditions. This apparently didn't favour Kipchoge who became 8th in the race. His first marathon loss since 2014 may have come like a shock to the running world but it shows that nobody is unbeatable and he still remains human. Some people doubted he was getting too old to still reach his full potential, but apparently he does never get old. In 2021, he ended up winning the NN Mission Marathon in Enschede. Huge disappointment in London in October. We're also all absolutely delighted to see Elliot Kipchoge back. He's back to winning ways and he's back running fast. He's back on top and was ready to defend his title at the postponed Tokyo Olympics. He's on his way to history. Many said he was the greatest of all time before this race, but there was one last challenge. Elliot Kipchoge, the icon, the champion, is the gold medalist once more. After this impressive victory, he went back to Tokyo to earn another impressive victory. In 2022, Kipchoge once again put it his mind on improving the world record, splitting his first half in 59 minutes 51 seconds, which made up the possibility for the first official under 2 hour marathon. Kipchoge looking good. He is looking very good. Elliot Kipchoge, the world record is still off. The best marathon we've ever seen in a competitive race. What a moment this is for Elliot Kipchoge. Let's keep an eye on the clock. It's not a question of whether Elliot Kipchoge will break the record, Tim. It's a question of by how much. The double Olympic champion is the greatest marathon runner we have ever seen in the history of the event. This is road running from a different planet here in Berlin. Yet again, he has done it. We are 2023 now and I don't think anyone is arguing about Kipchoge not being the greatest marathon runner the world has ever seen. In this quest to prove even more so, he wanted to win all six major marathons. This includes Berlin, London, Chicago, Tokyo, New York and Boston. They only rested New York and Boston for Kipchoge, so he was entered for the Boston Marathon 2023. Sadly. It didn't go as planned. Missed his last water bottle in that last water But like Kipchoge always does, he's back. And back for more. 
In preparation for the Paris Olympic Marathon, he entered the Berlin Marathon in an attempt to win the marathon an astonishing five times, and doing so better than Haye Gebrselassie. Surely now, he can't be beaten. The clock ticks round. There he can now. There is the Brandenburg Gate. And from there, he knows it's less than a lap of the track in track terms. He gets there in first place with a gap behind him. Then he can enjoy those last 352 metres to the finish line. He can stride out, wave to the crowd and accept his fifth victory. He's nearly home and dry. He's been here so many times before, the crowd going crazy. But the victory is secure. At one point, we were talking about sub two hours. At another point for much of the race, we talked about a new world record. That's not to be, but Eli Kipchoge now is on his way to victory number five here in Berlin. Kipchoge, 2.02.40 the winning time. The world record not bothered today, but he won't mind. He moves ahead of Haile Gabriel Selassie with a fifth victory in total in Berlin. That's 16 wins in 19 marathons. He might not have earned an official under two hour marathon, but this victory is more than just a win. He's on the world stage for more than 20 years now and still wins marathons. That aside, this is the eighth fastest marathon ever ran and back when he started running marathons in 2013, this would have been a huge world record. He has won 16 out of the 19 marathons he's entered, and who, oh who knows, what he has all planned out for the future, beginning with the Olympic marathon, and hope to become a back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back Olympic champion.